Yo, what's up guys? We are back in Pokemon Showdown for my final team builder for the PMCD League. It's time for the finals. Finally, um, we beat the Kansas City Kakunas last week in the conference finals. Narrow 1-0 victory. Slowking the God came came and came up clutch and tanked the voltage from Rotom to guarantee us the spot in the finals. Um, we are facing the Maryland Mian Shaws and the coach Jack is his name, I believe. Um, yeah, he brings a pretty scary team, but um, we go over that in a minute. Um, the winner of us will make the main roster of the PMC, the Pokemon Masters Cup. Um, so it's pretty, it's not that important for us, but obviously we played on D-League to get a spot on the main roster. So um, it's definitely... Um, an important game for both of us because you don't want to make fans of a D-League and then have to play in the D-League again if there's a Season 2. So um, both of us definitely play to win and bring probably a, both very solid teams. Um, I put a lot of thought into my team, um, it was a really, had a really hard time prepping um, because he has so many threats on his roster and I went back and forth about what I wanted to bring but then I decided to go with the team I had. Um, looking at his team, he has the Mega Pinsy, which obviously is a threat. I don't know if he brought it ever in the um, regular season because what is, it was at zero kills and zero death, so I'm not sure. But it's probably coming versus me because I have the Mega Lopani and not a very good check to it. So I expect that to come. Here's the Starmi, the Hydreigon, the Tangrow, the Curem, which he brought a lot of times, sometimes um, as a roost, um, sub roost. Um, attacker, but it definitely can do a lot of different things like life orb, choice specs, choice, choice scout, a lot of options you can do with Curum because it's pretty versatile um, from an offensive standpoint. Um, here's the Needle King, which I have trouble switching into. He has the Mail Tank, the Coffer Griggers, the Sylveon, the Terrakion, and the Lantern. Overall, a very solid, very balanced squad with heavy hitters and a very solid defensive core like Mail Tank, Coffer Griggers, Sylveon, and the Tangrowth. So, um, I don't really know what he's bringing. I kind of expect a balanced squad, but maybe with a little bit more offense. Like, for example, only two defensive mons and then like four hard hitters. For example, like a defensive Cofagrigus and maybe a Sylveon or the Tangroth and then like Pinsir, Starmie, Hydrogen, and Neo King or something like that. Um, I don't have really good switches to, switches to most of his, uh, of his team. Um, Among Us does a pretty jo solid job walling the. Hydrogen, the Tangrowth, the um, Milton, Coferia, Sylveon, Terrakion, and the Lantern. But then again, it struggles with the Curum, the Mega Pinsir, and um, even the Starmie, because uh, Life of Psychic hurts a lot with, um, versus Among Us. So um, I wasn't, wasn't really sure if I want to bring um, a balanced squad and my Regenerator core again. Um, I kind of considered, like, especially defensive, Among Us, especially defensive. Um, Slowking to like have a switch in for basically anything besides the Mega Pinsir, but I didn't want to lose the Mega Pinsir. Um, once it set up, uh, sets up um, a Swordsman versus me, it's basically GG, so I have to be careful with it. Um, so I thought after starting to build a balance squad, I um, thought that it's not the right way to go because I think his balance beats my balance just because I don't have that solid bulk versus his team. Um, just because Mega Pinsir gives me so much trouble. Um, I have the Everlock on the squad, but after Stealth Rock, Mega Pinsir has a chance to 2 hit KO. Um, max Fist Death, uh, Max HP, uh, what's his name? Everlock, so that's not really an answer, and it's really hard to um, keep it healthy versus such a strong team because it doesn't wall anything really besides Mega Pinsir. So I didn't really want to bring it. So, um,. What are you doing when you don't have um, switch-ins to anything on the opposing opponent team? You bring hyper offense, and that's what I intend to do. Um, I thought about spike stacking with my um, Scully Pete, but then again, Scully Pete can be so much more helpful in another role or in a lot of other roles that that wasn't really an option because then again, I would have lacked speed on some mon mons or um, was would have been too predictable on um, like. Um, on the items that I have on uh, other mons I'm bringing. For example, if I don't bring um, a baton pass 
Um, Scully Peter was obvious that I was a um, scarfed hooper probably, or a trick room hooper, and probably also that I was a rock polish hooper because my speed tiers versus his team are not really good. The only thing I have going for me is the Megalopony, which outspeeds, outspeeds his entire team, but you cannot bank on the Megalopony if you win the yes, a Mega Pinsy and a Confagrius both of which are very solid answers to it. Same with the Tangro. So, I wasn't able to bring um, Spikes Scully Pete because I need Rock Slide to not be set up for the 40 Mega Pins here and I need um, Bug Coverage because it's just so good for this team. Um, Rock Slide plus Bug Coverage, like in this case Mega Horn, hit basically everything on this team besides the Kofag and the Nido King, which I don't really care about. So, um, um, I care about them, but not with my Scully Pete. Scully Pete is not an answer to these mods. So, um, I had to bring like Batompa's Scully Pete, which you will see in a minute. And I had to bring Stealth Rock, a Stealth Rock Elite, um, just to, because um, Rocks Up ensure me so many all costs instead of two, two chaos, so Rocks are very important in this game. So, as you can see, I decided to bring my Golurk. Um, with the Focus Sash, it will be my lead 100% of the time, regardless of what he brings. Even if he brings um, six Hydrogons, I will lead with Golurk. I don't care about it, I will get up my Rocks and I will do a turn one. Um, Golag is a pretty simple spread. Um, I have enough speed to speed creep a Sylveon, even a Sylveon with like um, 12 EVs in speed if he decides to like put a little bit of, of speed in it um, to not be speed crept by one of my slower mons, but I don't expect him to do to do that because the only mon that can, the only slow mon on my team that really can outspeed it um, or speed creep it is the Golag, so I don't really think he anticipates me bringing that, even though it has like solid coverage for most of his team, but it just dies to so many things, like Stami can kill it, Hydrogen can kill it, Kyurem destroys it, so does Nido King, and so on, so I don't think he will um, see Golak coming, but um, it will definitely be my lead here 100% of the time. I'm gonna get up my rocks turn 1, if he leads uh, with his stealth rocker like Mill Tank, um, I even get a hit, hit, off, a hit off on it afterwards. For example, the Dynamic Punch, which always will hit with the Noga, or a Stone Twist, which is obviously for Mega Pins here. Um, if I can get more than uh, one turn out of my Golurk, um, I will go for Rocks and then probably for the Dynamic Punch, because it hits the majority of his team. If I switch into the Corfagrius, I can just Shadow Punch it for um, about 40-ish percent, which is pretty nice, because my team doesn't deal too well um, versus, uh, with Corfagrius. So, I kind of have to weaken it in order to sweep late game. Um, Golok is basically my most defensive mod um, in this battle and it's not even defensive, it just takes it because it is a focus sash. So after that you will only see hyper offense from me. Mm. So yeah, I, th I think Golok's role um, is pretty simple here. He will get up rocks and he can't even spin them away with Stami versus me. And I can get a shadow punch off if he um, if I'm still at um, full, so that's pretty nice because of my focus search. Um Yeah, that's mainly what Golak does. If I can keep it healthy, that would be nice because it gets like dynamic punches off, and I can bank on confusion hits or hope for confusion hacks. So um, that's a solid secondary effect here. But yeah, let's go to the next one, which is my Scully Pete. Um, Another very simple spread, as I said, Mega Honor Rock Slide hit most of his team very hard, besides like Kofag and and Nido King, but I don't really care about them with my spell because I can just Baton Pass out on them, so that's not a problem. Um, Substituting Baton Pass, obviously, because Scully Pete, when you look at his team, it scatters a lot of stuff out. If he brings Hydreigon, Stami, Tangrowth, um, Kyurem, Sylveon, I can easily um, substitute up on them. Get my speed boost and then on whatever um, he wants to bring in, I can baton pass out and get a safe switch in, plus a plus one speed boost um, into one of my win conditions, which you will see in a minute. So, um, as you can see, the goal of this team basically is um, get up rocks, deal with Stami so that he cannot um, spin them away, and then pass speed into Land or Eye or maybe even Hooper to win the game. But um, I have a lot of mods that can basically win me the game because I just have to weaken everything to like 
a certain point where um, I can just click one move, lock myself into one move, um, and then sweep from there. Um, I don't expect this to be like a big win in my favor or even a big win in his favor because um, both of our teams match up so well offensively that we basically will trade um, one mon for one mon every turn. Um, so if I get in a safe switch onto something, um, I can put a lot of pressure onto him with like a plus one Lando or plus one Hooper and basically get kills from there on out. So um, that's basically the goal. If I don't get a baton pass off, it will be even one baton pass is enough. It will be tough to uh, win the game for that if I don't get it done. So um, I really have to have to have a look at when is the best time to send a scully piece. When is the best time to um, set up a sub and to baton pass off? But I'm pretty sure I can make it happen versus some stuff because it just scares so many stuff out. So there's that. Um, the Cobra Barry is pretty obvious for the Mega Pincer because I don't want to die to a to a um, uh, quick attack from it, um, and I can revenge kill it with the Rock Slide after it took um, rocks in his regular form. So that's pretty nice. Um, next up, I have my Magneton here. Didn't bring it to that many games, but versus him, if he doesn't bring the Nidor King and the Lantern. Um, Lantern isn't that good versus my team, and Nidoking King is very situational because of its slow speed. Um, I can easily spam Volt Switch or Thunderbolt. Um, the speed here I hit here was um, Scarfed Sylveon. I want to outspeed that and kill it with the Flashcam because Scarfed, Scarfed Sylveon can actually be a threat versus me. It doesn't outspeed the um, Lopani, but doesn't die and can revenge kill it. It outspeeds Hooper if I'm not Scarfed, it outspeeds Lando if I'm not Scarfed, and it gets, could get big hyper voices off. And my team doesn't really match up too well versus fairies beside the Among Us. But um, I really hope he doesn't bring Sylveon be uh, because of the fact that I brought Among Us to almost every game. So um, that's a little mind games when it comes to prep. Um, yeah, ability analytic of course because he doesn't have a steel type I want to trap. So an an analytic gives me that big boost if he switches out on my Magneton. If, for example, if I can bring it on the Stami or something. Um, Coverage is pretty simple as well. Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Flash Cannon hit everything besides the Lantern, of course. Um, but I don't expect him to bring Lantern because that thing is that good versus me. And as the last move, I have to reflect. Um, even though Magneton is my main answer to Mega Pinsel because I outspeed and can easily revenge kill it, um, the reflect could come in handy to um, stop a plus two Mega Pinsel from sweeping. Um, for example, if I'm like really low in range of a potential quick attack, I can basically bank on it to um, not kill and try to get up a reflect or something. Um, I probably won't go for it anyway, but it's just, I don't really need my fourth move slot and if I can get a reflect off that could be helpful um, in the in the late game. So, um, next up, my boy Lander is incarnate. Um, I don't think I got a kill with it yet, um, but it definitely has a chance to sweep this game. Um, with the coverage I have, I hit his entire team, I had two hit KO his entire team, I'll call most of the stuff after rocks besides um, Stami, Cofagrigus, and and Lantern, I believe, not La okay, Lantern, um, Miltank has a chance to live a Focus Blast, but a very small chance, so there's that, depending on the spread. So yeah, I basically two hit KO his entire team with the um, modest life of boosted. Sheer force boosted attacks here. Um, Rock Slide, even though I'm modest, has uh, guarantees me a kill versus Mega Pins here, regardless of how bulky it is. It just destroys him. If it's max HP, I have like still a 85% chance to kill it, so I don't have to invest um, into it into attack versus him. And if I can pass a plus two speed into Landorus, it is basically GG. Once I have weakened the um, Cofagrigus, which cannot oko me anyway, and put stuff like Tangro in range for the sludge whip, which isn't that hard to do. So there's that, and he does, cannot even knock me out with an HP ice from Tangro if he's like uninvested. So um, I can basically get two kills off on that thing. Um, yeah, that's definitely my win condition here, or one of my main win conditions besides the Magneton, because Magneton ca Magneton can also come in and spam uh, Thunderbolt to win the game if I um, weaken stuff to a certain point. Get rid of his immunities, but um, Landorus at plus one or hopefully plus two speed can basically sweep the game. Um, the speed is enough to outspeed 
um, Nitto King, Timid Nitto King, which caps out at 150, so I don't need any more. Goes at plus one, I cannot outspeed um, Terrakion, even if I'm Timid, if it's Scarfed, and I don't think he will run um, Max Speed Hy Hydrogen, because um, he will probably speed creep just my base 80s. Um, and he has no reason to put more speed into it than um, 146, and like because I don't have anything that's faster than, ba than base 80 and nothing that's uh, and he cannot outspeed anything that is um, faster than Hydrogen anyway. So he probably will run enough speed to speed creep my Hooper, but that's that. Um, yeah, Lander is definitely my win condition. I hope I can get at least one kill with him this season, but I haven't uh, brought him that often. I think I brought it three times and it only hit the field two times or one time. I don't know. I hope I can put some of a speed into it and win the game. Next up, I have my choice scarfs Hooper. Um, this thing actually, just like Lando, can come in late game and sweep the game. Um, if I put, like, Hyperspace Fury destroys Starmie, it kills Pinsir after rocks, or has a big chance to kill Pinsir after rocks. Um, Hydrogen goes down to Focus Blast. Tangroth cannot take two gun shots, even if it's um, Max Physically Defensive. Kyurem dies to Focus Blast. Nidoking King dies to a Psychic. Milsang cannot take two Psychics or Focus Blast after rocks. Kofek cannot take more than one Hyperspace Fury. Um, Sylveon dies to a gun shot after rocks, I believe, if it's not Max Defense. Terrakion dies to Focus Blast and Psychic, and Lantern goes down to two Hyperspace Furies. So, this is a mod that can, just like with my Lando and my Magneton, sweep late game. It's just like, depending on what he brings, I um, have to make sure that I have one mod left that can clean up the game. So, it doesn't matter if my Hooper comes in late game or if it comes in mid game and takes like two months with it. With the big hits, it can, um, like, pull off versus team. Doesn't matter if I go mid game into my Lando as long as I keep my Hooper or my Magneton healthy to win the game and so on. So it's probably it will probably come down to one or two months left to um sweep the game because Hyper Offense doesn't ha doesn't uh want too many switches. Um I just want to like get damage off to put everything in range. If I lose five months but um my six month can clean up his entire roster of eleven months um, I win the game, so who, who gives a fuck about differential, right? So, um, yeah, that's basically the game game plan, just um, hitting stuff, hitting stuff, whittle them down with the stealth rocks, and then sweep later with one mon, or maybe two mons if I'm lucky enough to um, have that many mons healthy, which could happen if I, like, get a kill with my Golok, for example, or um, get a kill with my Scully Pete and then um, the Tom pass out, on the, out of there and have like a healthy Scully Pete for the late game too. Um, the last one I bring is the MVP of my roster this season, the Mega Lopani. Um I really contemplated a lot of what to bring on it, but um, I decided for like um, quadruple step here, high jump kick, return, fake out, quick attack. I contemplated um, entrainment over quick attack because I could have taken away. Um, Cofagria's Mummy or Sylveon's um, Pixelate with it, even like uh, Volt Absorb from Lantern so he cannot Volt switch out on me. But I think Quick Attack um, is better because, let's say Pinsir switches in one time on, on rocks in its regular form and then is forced to Mega Evolve and then switch out. Uh, if I have rocks up, which I intend to do, he will be at 25% Adamant, Fake Out does 23% Max. So I cannot. Um, Killed from that range with my um, Lopani, and I don't want to lose um, last month Lopani was last month Pinsir. It's very situational, but it it has a chance to win me the game um, if I lose my Magneton for whatever reason, which I don't uh, do not intend to do. But you never know what happens. Um, the turn her jump kick obviously hit his entire team. He doesn't have a really good switch besides the Cofagrius. Um Cofagrius can take two high jump kicks, but um, I'm forced to switch out anyway after after one because um, I obviously get the mummy and cannot hit him again with um, my scrappy high jump kicks or returns. So um, once I we weaken Corfagrius, I can basically two hit KO his entire team, even Oko, most stuff like Hydrogen, um, Cure, Mill Tank, stuff like that, even the Terrakion. So um, 
that's another one, one of these mods that has a chance to sweep the game. Um, it will probably come in mid-game, that's basically my plan, to like get heavy damage off, especially if it doesn't bring the Corfagris, I can potentially take down two mons at least, because I can take some hits. Um, Lopan is bulky enough to take, uh, for example, a Sludge Wave from a Nido King or something, so or um, a Dragon Pulse or an Ice Beam from Curum, and then I could get like a surprise kill here and there, and then sack it to make room for my for one of my win conditions to um, sweep the game. But um, yeah, that's the squad. Um, it's gonna be a really tough game for both of us, to be honest, because we don't. Both of our teams match up great offensively versus the other one, but um, they are terrible defensively versus um, the opposing team. Um, that is the same for him as it is for me. Like we both struggle tremendously to switch into certain threats, um, and I think if we both bring hyper offense, I win because my hyper offense is way way better than his just because I have Hoopa, Lopani, Lando, I, which is a pretty unfair offensive core. Um, also have this baton pass shenanigans going on which could really help me um, basically sweep hyper offense because um, Lopani itself beats hyper offense if he brings like Hydreigon, Curum, um, Terrakion, Stami, all these things um, die to Lopani if I pass like um, one speed and I outspeed Scarf Terrakion after that and can easily um, O-code with the high jump kick, so that's another mon I could potentially pass speed into, but probably won't uh, won't do that because Lando I here is the designated um, mon to baton pass into. Um, yeah, the speed obviously is again to speed creep Scarf Sylveon, I don't want that thing to sweep me. Um, Hoopa outspeed Scarf Sylveon as well, I put something a little bit more on it. Um, I think to outspeed, what was it? Um, I don't know yet, really. Um, I think it was to outspeed Stami or something like that. Yeah, some, something like that, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe um, even like Scarf Lantern or something, if that's a, a thing. I don't know why exactly that speed, but it's there probably because I don't want like to be speed creep, speed trapped or something. I don't know, but that's that's the speed I have on there, and it doesn't really matter because with the, this offensive spread, I just um, like two K or anything anyway. So who gives a fuck about the speed? Um, yeah, I don't know when the battle will be up. I, we have already actually played the game; it was a very good battle. Um, I try to record it as soon as possible, but stay tuned for that and let me know in the comments what you think of my team if if you think I have a chance to win the game. Um, I'm not really that confident, even though I like. I think the team is pretty good for the sim, but it's way out of my comfort zone, so I don't know if I can pull it off. But well, I didn't know if I could pull it off when I built it. Um, but I think it could be a team that just um, overpowers his, because look at these monsters. He d cannot switch into any of them, so I have a very good chance, a uh, very good feeling that I have a good chance to uh, beat him just because he struggles tremendously switching into it, but he definitely could pull a trick out of his sleeve and um, win the game. So what I expected from him was Swordsense Mega Scissor, uh, Mega Pincer, sorry, Stami, like offensive for Rapid Spin. Um, I expected Hydreigon, probably like Dual Step, Roost, Taunt, Stallbreaker Hydreigon, be because it just destroys my wall core if he runs um, Taunt and Roost versus me, so um, that's definitely an option. I c would expect the Tangroth, the Nidor King, and then maybe a Scarf Terek, a Scarf Sylveon, maybe Miltank for Rocks or Nidor King for Rocks, or Kofik. Like The last one is pretty tough, but I expected Mega Pincer, Stami, Hydrogen, Tangroth, definitely, and then probably a Rocker and maybe another wall, but I don't really know. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, don't forget to leave a, to leave a like and um, see you in the finals.